We're gonna take a long overdue look at one of my most popular asked questions and one of my channel's most viewed video. Why I use a five string bass and just five string bass guitars in general. If you want to check the video out, the original one, you can click on that right now. It's very, very old. It's probably from when I started this channel. Uh, the camera that I'm using is extremely old. The sound is terrible. And it's extremely ad-libbed because I, I'm, I'm really just coming up with all the reasons on the top of my head. Uh, so obviously there's a lot of clarification that's needed. And since it's one of my most popular videos, there's, uh, there's a lot of confusion that comes from some of the vague answers and and some of the different concepts that I talked about on that video. So without further ado, we're gonna delve back into that same question about five string basses. The first thing is extended range. If I play a bass line, I can play it like that, or similarly I can also do Same thing with, uh, with these three notes. You can also play that. And in both those riffs, all I did was take some of the notes and used a lower octave version of those notes. And that's something that I can do on a five string bass. Now both ways are correct and the notes are the same, but they sound a bit different. That's because of octaves. The five string bass guitar has a low B string, which is a perfect fourth from an E string, which is right above it, which is this string right here just like the highest two strings on a guitar. So on a, on a guitar, you'll see it's E, A, D, G, B, E. And so just think about the lowest two strings on the bass guitar, a continuation of that, B, E, A, D, G, B, E, A, D, G, and then goes over and over and over again, all the way up the octaves until you can't hear it again. So for example, in the first riff when I played, <laughs> The D note, I played down here. Because I have that octave. Now this gives me a way of playing the notes an octave lower than standard EADG tuning, which is what a four string bass guitar is tuned to. When my guitarists come up with chords, I can choose to use some notes lower on the neck than the standard octave for a different feel or stylistic approach. So when I say extended range, think of a five string bass guitar like a four string bass guitar with a thicker string slapped right on the bottom, right, right above all the other strings. Listen to talk show bands like The Roots on Jimmy Fallon. The bassist uses the B string very tastefully as if though it was just an extension of a four string bass guitar. And if you're worried, you, you can actually ignore that B string. You don't have to use it. You can use this bass guitar like a four string bass guitar. You can actually pretend like this B string isn't there. The other strings you can play just like a normal bass. You can just use that string whenever you need to or in songs that you might want to play. It's not that difficult to get used to and it will keep you proficient in both types of instruments. More tuning opportunities. Now this principle also works for other tunings because the low B string can go lower or higher, effectively giving me a low A for tunings like drop A or higher up to C for tunings like C standard and drop C without tension or neck problems. So now on a four string, when you tune to drop A, you've got A, E, A, D. And if I want to actually do that on a four string and I tuned, let's say these higher four strings to A, E, A, D, I didn't have, let's say I didn't have this thicker B string up here. My strings would get very, very floppy. The tension wouldn't be that great, and it'd be really hard to hear some of the some of the notes that are played. So that I would have to get thicker strings, and then I would just set the bass up for those thicker strings. Meaning I would have to probably stay in that tuning, a relatively low tuning, like about as high as I could go would be B E A D, unless I change the strings again to get into another tuning if I want to. The five string bass effectively gives me, let's say, two bass guitars in one. And the way that that works is, 
If I ignore this B string and I do just have the higher four strings, I can tune E, A, D, G, which is just standard. I can tune to D, A, D, G, which is drop D. I can tune all the way down to, let's say, drop C, which is C, G, C, F, where the strings would then start to get a little bit floppy, a little loose. And so I wouldn't really be able to, uh, to tune any lower than that with just those higher four strings. And that's when the thickest string comes in. Let's say I want to tune to drop C and I want, uh, I want a good tension. I want a good enough tension on the strings. Then I would treat the bottom four strings, including that B, as my new four string bass guitar with, a, with an extra higher string even. So what I would do in that case is I would tune to whatever I would need to tune to, let's say, drop C, which is C, G, C, F, and I would actually be able to tune up from B, E, A, D to drop C, theoretically, right? So if I, if I let's say I just use the entire five string bass guitar, the entire five string bass guitar is tuned to B standard. Well, drop C would be tuned higher. So technically I'd be taking the entire bass guitar and tuning it up. So the tension's actually gonna be really good. But let's say I tune it even higher than drop C and I want to tune to D, A, D, G. Let's say I want to tune to, to drop D. Well, then that fifth string is going to be too high tensioned. So then I would want to use the higher four strings again and ignore the fifth string. So with the extended tuning or the more tune opportunities that I get, it's basically using either the highest four strings or the lowest four strings to my advantage using the highest four strings from anything E standard all the way down to drop C. And then if I want to go even lower than that, I treat the, the lowest four strings as the bass guitar that I'm going to be using. And I will take the drop C and I can go from drop C to C standard to B, E, A, D, which is just the standard five string tuning to even below that all the way down to maybe drop A. And, you know, some people want to go below that. And when you are using the thickest four strings or the highest four strings, do not be afraid to ignore the extra strings. So if you're using the B, E, A, D strings, you can ignore this high G string, or you can use that extended range to your advantage. You can, you, you can actually tune this highest string up along with the rest of the bass to, you know, to get C, G, C, F, A, or to get A, E, A, D, G, you know, so you can, you can even use those. Uh, or, like I said, you can just use the bass guitar as two separate four strings uh, and, and kind of ignore the, whichever is either the highest or the lowest string depending on how you're using it. The tunings don't stop there. In fact, the actual way, the traditional way to tune a five string bass guitar would be to take advantage of all the strings, right? So let's say that your band tunes to drop C all the time or you need a five string bass that is tuned to drop C. So let's, you would take the higher four strings, you would uh, you would tune them C, G, C, F, like you would do uh, a standard four string bass guitar. You might want to get some thicker strings to keep that tension going and you might want to set the bass up a little bit. Then you can take this lower string and then do that extended range thing we talked about earlier and tune that even lower. Uh, and for drop C, that would be G. So it would be G, C, G, uh, C, F. So you get G, C, G, C, F. Uh, between the Buried and Me, uh, I think does a tuning uh, similar to uh, similar to that. I think they do a G, C sharp. I think they do uh, they do that kind of tuning. Let's say you're tuned to drop D on your higher four strings. You've got D, A, D, G on your higher four strings. You can take that uh, that B string and tune that down to A, and you'll have a lower tuned string so that you can get that extended range below what the guitars are tuned to. That's actually a pretty popular way that this bass guitar is going to be used. Five stringers normally dedicate to a certain type of tuning if they're going to be playing with a band for a long time. Uh, and you know what you're gonna want you what they'll eventually want to do is uh, is utilize the entire bass guitar in that way And then you can do that But the way that I use it is that method that I talked about where I use it as two Four string bass guitars and I'll use the thicker string when I need to and then I use the extended range when I'm playing with uh, with my bands that are tuned to, uh, to standard E and I'll, I'll kind of kick in that B string sometimes when I want to hit a lower octave But nonetheless that principle does work for every other tuning The most expensive thumb rest. Now, of course this is an exaggeration, but there are many times where the pickups on a bass, the most common place to rest your thumb when playing 
with your fingers aren't adequate and having that B string there is really nice to rely on when you're resting your thumb. Case in point, I used to have an Ibanez SR300 and the pickups on there were god awful. The way that they were shaped were, uh, were essentially like a rainbow and that gave me no place to put my thumb when I was playing, uh, when I was playing with my fingers. And it was a four string bass, uh, so I don't understand how they figured that you would end up playing the traditional way that you'd be playing that instrument. They had no thumb rest on there. That there was there was no there was no screw on thumb rest or anything like that. They expected you to either use a pick all the time or just hover your fingers over the string. So I got rid of that bass a while ago. But I do remember thinking that if there was a fifth string on there, it would have been able to save it because I would have been able to at least rest my thumb on something while I was playing the bass like a bass is supposed to be played. Nowadays, people are starting to make bands without bass players. The White Stripes, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, the Black Keys until they came to terms and many, many, many more. It's nice to be the only bass player at a show sometimes, and it's cooler being the only bass player there that has more strings than normal. It keeps people quite fascinated, uh, not just because I am probably the only bass player in any band there, but the fact that this bass player has another string on there, and I, you know, I, some people have no idea what to do with that. We're gonna talk about some five string bass guitar myths. <laughs> First one, five strings are harder to play. Notes are notes. And on a five string bass, that extra string will just make you stronger, essentially. Uh, it could be confusing for a while, but it, again, does not take very long to get used to. When you're starting out, though, when, when you're first playing guitar, bass guitar, I do recommend that you start on a four string. I don't recommend that this is the first thing that you pick up when you're picking up bass guitar, solely for the reason that when you're gonna be reading books or when you're gonna be watching lessons, uh, and any when you're learning, traditionally people are going to be talking about bass guitar in a four string, uh, in, a, in a four string sense, and they're going to be doing exercises where it's kind of essential that you have a four string so you don't really get confused. And in that case, yeah, just get you know your first bass, get a four string. But when if you're thinking about moving up to a five string bass guitar, it's not so much as an advanced bass. It's just another tool that you're adding on your on your instrument that you can utilize whenever you want to. So it really doesn't make the bass more complicated. It just makes it a little bit more complex. <laughs> Five string bass guitars are built better. Just because you add something to something else does not mean that it's built better. Uh, the brand, the wood, electronics, uh, a whole slew of things come into factor when it comes to the build quality of an instrument. The extra string is not one of them. Simply put, a five string bass guitar is not built better than a four string bass guitar. Five string bass guitars are more expensive. Now there are cheap five strings and there are cheap four strings. The string does not determine the cost of the instrument. The cheapest five string might cost more than the cheapest four string, but that's due to the fact that there is just extra stuff on there. There's a little bit wider neck, so the material is more, and there is another string on there. But the cost that's going to be added to that is pretty negligible. So now that we talked about five string basses, let's uh, talk a little bit about six or more string basses. Six string basses give you an extended range in the other direction by adding a high C string above the G on a five string bass. In my opinion, these types of basses are, are well suited for solo bassists. Um, ones who are gonna be utilizing a lot of higher notes, they're gonna be going uh, and doing a lot more melodies, a lot more tapping stuff, uh, and then they're gonna also go down and play some of the bass notes, the essential extremely low register notes. So I, I really don't think that five or six string basses are, are as useful as five string basses as compared to four string bass guitars. Six string basses are not tuned like guitars. They're not tuned E, A, D, G, B, E, but rather they're tuned B, E, A, D, G, C. Now you can try tuning it like a guitar, but that would be highly impractical. Seven and eight string bass guitars give you lower strings below the B, such as low octaves of G and F sharp. Uh, I don't see, again, I don't see much of a conventional use for these basses because you're gonna get near subsonic levels. It's gonna be really hard to get audible notes out of some of those, but uh, when you're playing in, uh, in bands like, like Born of Osiris, uh, things like it, when, you, when you need notes that are just so low where you're just gonna be relying on the distortion to, uh, to get you out there, there are seven and eight string basses. Uh, they're not made for that specific reason. They're just made so that you have those lower notes. Uh, but you can use it for those purposes. So this will be the redone, more updated, clarified version of the most asked question that I get. It, 
five string bass guitars. And if you guys have any more questions about it, then definitely ask me on Facebook, ask me on Twitter, subscribe to my channel, ask me down uh, down below in the comments, ask me wherever you guys can get a, get a hold of me, and I can try to clarify for you further. But thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.